There is a significant problem in space right now that isn't receiving enough attention. Space junk is accumulating in our atmosphere, and if we don't address it, we could be trapped on Earth. Currently, our planet is surrounded by 7,560 active satellites, and the amount of space debris is already concerning. By 2050, it's estimated there will be over 500,000 active satellites and hundreds of millions of pieces of space junk. This could make space travel too dangerous, effectively trapping us on Earth. Hello, and welcome to Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. We began launching satellites and rockets into space in 1957, and since then, we've put over 14,000 satellites into orbit and had 6,300 successful rocket launches. However, this progress comes at a cost. More than 630 explosions, collisions, or other accidents have destroyed spacecraft in orbit, creating millions of small debris pieces traveling at 28,000 kmh, fast enough to travel from New York to LA in eight minutes. Currently, there are 36,500 objects larger than 10 centimeters, 1 million objects between 1 and 10 centimeters, and an astounding 130 million objects between 1 mm and 1 centimeter in size in orbit. These could be fragments of satellites, rocket parts, or even tiny specks of paint. Despite their size, these objects can cause serious damage due to their high velocity. Low Earth orbit satellites, crucial for TV, internet, GPS and weather monitoring are now at risk. Significant hazards include more than 1,000 large rocket stages, each bigger than a school bus, moving at high speeds. This problem is just beginning. In 1983, the Challenger shuttle's windshield was cracked by a tiny paint fleck traveling at 4 km per s. Similar incidents are common, posing a risk to the International Space Station and astronauts. In 2009, a U.S. commercial satellite collided with an inactive Russian satellite, marking the first accidental collision of two spacecraft. This could have been avoided if the Russian satellite had been decommissioned and re-entered the atmosphere. Currently, about 50% of all satellites in orbit are inactive, creating more space debris. Regulations require deorbiting dead satellites within 25 years, allowing companies to leave space junk in orbit for decades. This debris not only threatens satellites and rockets, but also poses risks when re-entering the atmosphere. Larger pieces can survive re-entry and reach the ground, as seen when a piece of the ISS hit a Florida home and a SpaceX rocket part washed up in the Bahamas. Thank you to ODU for sponsoring this video. ODU offers an all-in-one management software for entrepreneurs, including a user-friendly website builder. You can create a professional website with no coding skills needed. ODU's first application is free forever, with unlimited hosting and support, and a free custom domain for a year. Click the link in the description to check out ODU and support the channel. As companies like Starlink and OneWeb continue to launch large satellite constellations, the number of satellites in orbit will rise dramatically. This will increase the amount of dangerous space debris. Low Earth orbit is already crowded, and as the number of objects grows, so does the risk of collisions. This could lead to Kessler syndrome, where collisions create more debris, causing further collisions, potentially trapping us on Earth. Despite the grim outlook, this future is not inevitable. We have a few decades before the situation becomes critical. By 2030, the number of satellites in low Earth orbit is expected to be six times higher than today, which will have consequences. Even if we solve the space junk problem, the impact of numerous satellites on ground-based astronomy is concerning. Telescopes like Hubble, which provided groundbreaking views of the universe, orbit in an environment where collisions are a risk. Ground-based telescopes also face challenges from satellite streaks disrupting observations. The Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile, set to revolutionize astronomy, will face increasing streaks in its images as more satellites are launched hindering its view of distant objects. To tackle this problem, various solutions are being explored. One approach is to slow down debris so it falls into the atmosphere and burns up. Space companies are developing spacecraft to capture and deorbit large objects using nets or hooks. Smaller debris presents a bigger challenge. Ideas like giant sweepers have been proposed, but they are too expensive. A promising solution involves using lasers to alter the orbits of debris between 1 and 10 centimeters in size, pushing them into the atmosphere to burn up 
or to higher orbits where they pose less risk. Several companies are developing this technology, and if you're interested, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to visit one and show you how space lasers work. Space exploration has long been a symbol of human curiosity, ingenuity, and the quest for knowledge. From the first satellite, Sputnik, to the moon landing, and the exploration of Mars, our journey into space has been marked by monumental achievements and milestones. However, contemplating the end of space exploration forces us to reflect on various factors that could contribute to such a scenario. These factors include economic constraints, technological limitations, environmental concerns, and shifting societal priorities. This essay explores the potential reasons and implications of the cessation of space exploration. Economic Constraints One of the primary drivers of space exploration has been the substantial funding provided by governments and private entities. The cost of space missions is astronomical, with expenses covering research, development, launch, and maintenance. As global economies face increasing pressures from issues like climate change, healthcare, and education, there may come a time when funding for space exploration is no longer justifiable. Economic downturns or a reallocation of resources to address more immediate terrestrial concerns could lead to a reduction or complete halt in space exploration activities. Technological Limitations Despite significant advancements in technology, there are still numerous challenges associated with space exploration. The vast distances involved in interstellar travel, exposure to cosmic radiation, and the need for sustainable life support systems pose significant hurdles. If technological progress stagnates, or if insurmountable obstacles arise, humanity might reach a point where further space exploration becomes infeasible. For example, the development of propulsion systems capable of reaching distant stars, or the creation of habitats that can support human life for extended periods, might prove too difficult to achieve. Environmental Concerns The environmental impact of space exploration is another critical consideration. The launch of rockets and space shuttles contributes to carbon emissions and other pollutants. Additionally, the problem of space debris non-functional satellites, spent rocket stages and other fragments, poses a growing threat to both current and future missions. As awareness of environmental issues increases, society might prioritize the protection of Earth's ecosystem over the pursuit of extraterrestrial endeavors. This shift in priorities could lead to stricter regulations and a subsequent decline in space exploration activities. Shifting societal priorities. Societal priorities are constantly evolving in the past, the space race was driven by geopolitical competition and a desire for national prestige. Today, the motivations for space exploration are more diverse, including scientific discovery, commercial opportunities, and the potential for human colonization of other planets. However, future generations might prioritize different goals, such as addressing social inequalities, advancing renewable energy, or enhancing global cooperation if space exploration is perceived as a lesser priority, public support and funding could dwindle, leading to its eventual decline. Implications of the end of space exploration. The end of space exploration would have profound implications for humanity. On a scientific level, it would halt the acquisition of knowledge about our universe, potentially stalling discoveries that could benefit humankind. The inspiration and aspirational value derived from space missions would diminish, potentially leading to a decline in interest in science and technology among younger generations. Economically, industries related to aerospace engineering, satellite communications, and space tourism would suffer significant setbacks. Moreover, the dream of establishing human colonies on other planets as a safeguard against existential threats to Earth would be put on hold indefinitely. The end of space exploration could also signal a retreat into isolationism, where humanity focuses solely on Earth-bound issues without considering the broader context of our place in the universe. The end of space exploration, while currently speculative, is a scenario that invites deep reflection on human ambition, technological capabilities, and societal values, economic constraints, technological limitations, environmental concerns and shifting priorities all play a role in shaping the future of our journey into space. 
As we continue to explore the cosmos, it is crucial to balance our aspirations with the practical realities of our world, ensuring that the pursuit of knowledge and discovery remains aligned with the broader needs and values of humanity. Thank you for watching and see you next time.